Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. Wow, screwed that up. It's Rob from Flail Throughs, which, you know, screwing that up probably did not uh, confuse you as to my identity at all, let's say. But anyway, this is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Thomas, who wanted the Titania from uh, Code Fairy, uh, with a, the uh, Giant Bazooka 2, and the, uh, uh, in white, with uh, a, with a, a uh, red head uh, and some green and purple uh, highlights here and there. So, kind of from what I wound up with, kind of almost reminds me of Metroid Dread, which I really hope they do a figure of Metroid uh, Dread Samus. I liked that armor design. But, uh, let's see, and here is a gun tank, which I'm getting stunned out of attacking, because, yeah, everybody is trying to... Uh, keep me from uh, demolishing it because I can very easily if I can be left alone I was not and yeah I am a little bit salty about that uh, one person uh, trying to uh, trying to swing at something and stunning me when I could have had the gun tank but uh, yeah so I I still do the passive-aggressive tells sometimes when I'm grumpy and this is this was recorded during the last week of August which was a week and a half's worth of last week because oh man I, I've told you that August is typically pretty bad for me, and that was, the last week was, it was a hard one, so, but now it's over, we are in September, and hopefully, you know, things will get easier for another, you know, 11 months, if we're lucky. Uh, caught somebody with support fire, at least, and teams managed to put out some damage anyway, it's, uh, we're 2507 to 3450, not a bad place to be in trying to get there in time to help this uh, Dom Nomadus, but cannot do it. Um, the Giant Bazooka 2 has... I believe it has less... Uh, well, it has less ammo than the uh, standard Giant Bazooka, but I believe it hits harder and possibly also... Uh, uh, possibly also, also uh, travels further. That part I forget, but... I know there are some things to, you know, recommend it uh, besides... You know, the, uh, you know, despite, I should say, the reduced ammo. There's that gun tank again, which I am going to go right for, because that's what uh, kind of what I'm here to do. I am the raid. I am here to do raid things. The Alex tried to tackle me, but it was on the far side of the gun tank, so... And I'm going to hopefully get a double kill here. Um, not in a single shot, but yes, I did, so... There is an Arjarja moving in. It is shotgunned. And there's that. And there is that. So that's three in a row. And they're t destroying our base. And, you know, they can have it. Because I just got, like, you know, two-thirds of that base value uh, just on my own. Not entirely on my own, but, you know, three, three you know, three-fifths worth of kills. Because... Uh, I'm pretty sure the base value is like the value of everyone's mobile suits added together. So, and there's that Alex again, which... But yeah, the Titania is a raid camper, and it has slightly rearranged weapons. Um, its main weapon can be a bazooka or a beam rifle, uh, specifically the Goga Jaeger's beam rifle. And uh, it has a shotgun as a sub-weapon, which has, I think, about the same... No, it only has two rounds as opposed to the three in the camper shotguns. Also, of course, it's a single shotgun instead of a pair. Uh, but uh, still has the twin uh, twin Sturmfausts and also has uh, twin beam sabers and some arm gatlings. So, uh, yeah, it's got it's got a good weapon set up, and I'm trying to kill that pilot, but just can't quite get it. Um, I think I was... I should have gone for the arm gatlings and scoped in, honestly, but nothing I did quite did the trick, so... Our bomb, uh, unfortunately, I think our bomb is going to get diffused. Yeah, we're, t yeah, they got it. But, so, yeah, I'm going to apologize for that one because I was trying to do something about it and just couldn't. I'm going to run off and fight and let that person try and deal with the uh, base bomb alone. I'm uh, going to try and get this Barzam's attention before I do, though, because may as well keep, uh, keep the team busy while I can, and also I'm just kind of feeling pretty good about things here. I'm, I'm feeling like I can basically solo anything, but I'm not soloing anymore because there's something behind me. It is something I can't cope with. Yeah, it's the Jarja. Um, I am almost out of health. I should just be ejecting and trying to help with that base bomb, but I did not do that thing. That was not wise. 
because yeah, I'm not gonna. Sur- I was not gonna survive two on one with that little health. So, but if I'd gotten in there, uh, I had, might have done. I've been able to protect the bomb, which I don't. I think it's once again not gonna go off. Also, let's see. They have captured all the points. Um, I really w- I should have sent capture beacon because I really wish number five would have just jumped over there and captured D since we have nothing. But the the chief thing we need to do regardless is to uh, bunch up. So five and three have got the idea. Four and one kind of do. Well, four is guarding the bomb for one, which is a good a good move. But as always with the bomb, yeah, we you know we're just slightly behind instead of very behind, which. Since we've got to, uh, since we're still not bunched up, is not going to be, you know, a huge thing. But there's our Nomadus. And, yeah, just, uh, I'm pretty good. Oops, didn't run face first into the support fire. That's good. But I'm pretty good at running the Titania with the beam rifle. It is a charging, it's the, like I said, it's the Gelgug Jaeger's rifle, which I really like anyway. And I, I generally have an okay uh, time of uh, okay time of uh, using it with that but uh, to, to use it like this you do end up a little bit having to get a little bit closer because the the bazooka is uh, the bazooka does not have quite as much range and it also does not have uh, since it ha- since it is fire slow firing shells it's not as easy to uh, hit at the uh, at the outermost edge of its range as it is with the rifle. So that that means yeah, getting close in and and relying on melee more, which Titania is more or less built for. But again, you can r- run it at a distance if you want to. It's got enough weapons to be versatile. Because well, it's it's a main character mobile suit from uh, from Code Fairy, which means. It's got to be able to at least do something in any given situation you get it in. Um, they did... Ah, they In the end, they made Dom Nomadus ch- uh, choose between its two main weapons, between the Gatling or the Bazooka, instead of running both like it does in Code Fairy. Which, you know, probably good for balance's sake. And I'm going to die here. It's just a matter of when. I was hoping I'd... Uh, well, I did get a slight jump on the Jarja, but not enough because there was somebody else there, and now I'm dead. I think it was that Barzam. Looked like the shadow of Barzam. Yep. Got killed by the shadow of Barzam, so I think we're going to just barely lose this one. But, yeah, again, you saw from the beginning with me getting, you know, cranky and passive-aggressive, the team was not working well together uh, uh, at the beginning, and me deciding to have an attitude probably didn't help with that, so... You know, we're going to lose it by a really close number, but I, you know, I did ultimately do fairly well in the Titania. Or did somebody take somebody out at the last second? I think they did. Yeah, so we got it. All right, that's good. So, yeah, so... And I got top score at 47.54. I was out damaged by the uh, Hazel Custom. That's pretty good. And yeah, since it's our uh, assault gun tank that got that last second kill, that's who I praised. 8 and 3, 92,000 damage. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the round, Thomas. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! But yeah, this is, as I've mentioned many times before, not a good game to be playing when you're already stressed, but also I kind of needed rounds for this week, so I, I went with it. But... You know, thank you to everybody in that round for putting up with me, and I'm glad we pulled it off in the end.